Apple CEO Tim Cook is finally talking about artificial intelligence. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown. Well, here is one that people have been waiting for of all of the big tech companies, the Magnificent Seven, whatever you want to call them. The biggest holdout when it comes to the generative AI explosion has, of course, been Apple. What we're going to do today is look at Apple's latest comments from their earnings call this week, what it suggests about their strategy, and then we'll try to do a little bit more of a what we know so far around what we can expect from Apple and generative AI. So the big news here is that Tim Cook voluntarily and intentionally, and not just in response to a question, brought up AI and more specifically generative AI on this quarter's earnings call. In his prepared remarks, he said, As we look ahead, we will continue to invest in these and other technologies that will shape the future. That includes artificial intelligence, where we continue to spend a tremendous amount of time and effort, and we're excited to share the details of our ongoing work in that space later this year. Now, of course, analysts saw that as a total opening to try to get more information out. And yet, press as they might, Cook would not get into any more details. At one point, he said... Our MO, if you will, has always been to do work and then talk about our work and not to get in front of ourselves, and so we're going to hold on to that as well. But we have got some things that we're incredibly excited about that we'll be talking about later this year. On the conclusion of the call, he said, Let me just say I think there's a huge opportunity for Apple with generative AI and with AI, without getting into many more details or getting out ahead of myself. So let's talk about this idea that Apple does stuff first and then talks about it. That has certainly been true. Apple is not usually the first mover unless it's an entirely new category, right? Like the iPhone or the iPad or something like that. Instead, they try to get things right. And so to some extent, people haven't been overly surprised that they haven't leapt headlong into the generative AI race in quite the same way as others have. What's more, Apple has some specific constraints that make it potentially a little bit more challenging. The big tech companies that have invested billions of dollars into the AI race make a ton of money from their cloud products. Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud. There are direct links right now from a revenue perspective between their generative AI offerings and those existing cloud offerings. Now, Apple, of course, is primarily a device company, a hardware company. They have a preference for software that can run locally, that doesn't need to touch the cloud. As we know, these large language models and other heavyweight generative AI applications have a much harder time running on local hardware. And so part of what it seems like Apple's hesitation has been is to try to, on the one hand, wait for or help AI technology move to a place where it can do more with less, and on the other hand, increase the capacity of that local hardware, which is something we've seen, for example, in the new M3 chips, which are very clearly intended to increase Apple device capacity to run larger models. Now, it's not like we haven't gotten any indications that Apple is doing anything. Back in September, for example, The Information wrote a large piece called Apple Boost Spending to Develop Conversational AI. In that piece, we learned that the budget for training Apple's most advanced AI models had grown to millions of dollars per day, that there were a number of small teams working on generative AI inside the company, and that they were testing a model that they called Ajax that they believed had capacities at or exceeding GPT-3.5. More recently, we've started to get hints at how Apple might be thinking about commercializing its AI. Last year, Bloomberg's Apple tracker Mark Gurman wrote a piece in October called Inside Apple's Big Plan to Bring Generative AI to All Its Devices. Now, that reporting did a couple things. First of all, it did suggest that Apple was caught off guard by how fast AI hit the public consciousness and that it was considered an internal challenge. An Apple insider told Gurman, there's a lot of anxiety about this and it's considered a pretty big miss internally. Now, when it came to what that report said about what Apple was actually doing with generative AI, the message that we got was that Apple was pushing to, quote, add AI to as many apps as possible. That included music apps, productivity apps, and more. Now, at the time, there was another debate, just as we thought, on how to actually deploy generative AI. Could they do it completely on device? Did it require the cloud? Or could there be an in-between approach? Now, even before Tim Cook's recent comments... People had expected it to be iOS 18, where we first really start to see AI coming to the iPhone in a big way. Obviously, we've already seen some big updates in the AI phone wars from Google with their Pixel and Samsung with their new Galaxy Ultra 24. And 9to5Mac recently found code in the first beta of iOS 17.4, where it appeared to indicate that they were working on a new version of Siri that was powered by LLMs. This is at once the most obvious and most expected feature, but also one people would welcome, given how Siri has for many underperformed. 
Interestingly, the code showed that OpenAI's ChatGPT API had been used for internal testing for a lot of these features. 9to5Mac writes, In total, iOS 17.4 code suggests Apple is testing four different AI models. This includes Apple's internal model Ajax, of which there are two versions, including one that is processed on device and one that is not. Other models referenced by iOS 17.4, including ChatGPT, as well as Flan T5. And so that brings us back to Cook's comments. Now, what was so interesting to me is that on the one hand, he did reinforce this idea that Apple's brand is not to talk about things before they happen. But this whole conversation amounted to an announcement of an announcement. He said, we're going to do the work and then talk about the work, but they're literally talking about the work. They're hyping it up. The question, of course, is whether that is just a concession to the incredible pressure on Wall Street to at least indicating that they're doing something in this space. In either case, it will have the effect of ramping up already very high expectations. So Apple has its work cut out for it. But hey, it's using the words generative AI for the first time. That's going to do it for today's AI Breakdown. Appreciate you listening or watching. And until next time, peace.